Yes, the best piece of news for Monday evening. Johan Gufan is no longer a Newcastle United player. He is now a Gus Tepe SK player. Good luck to you. Thank you for your service. Join us in 2013. I had a memorable uh, last season at the club. Last season scoring, I think, seven goals out of his 19 goals. Especially that thundercracker against Derby County. Uh, we offered him a one-year deal. He decided to go with a two-year deal. And the way he was announced, like they signed Lionel Messi, man. Um, <laughs> if you've seen the thumbnail, that is literally how they announced him as a spoiler. Go figure. But yes, um, coming towards the, the latter ends of his career at the age of 31, um, to be honest, yeah, it's, it's worked in our favour because we've not, only managed to get rid of Goofan, but again, that's allowed us to get in Murphy in my books, because as I said before, we needed to get players off the wage books. Um, I don't think we would have got both Murphy and maybe potentially Ojo uh, if that deal goes through as well. So again, in my book, it, we're winning all rounds. We've got rid of Goofan, who I would assume would have been on least close to 30, if not pushing closer to 40 grand a week. Um, and again, obviously, Gostepe are really happy with their acquisition. And not only am I happy with our acquisition in Jacob Murphy, but I think we've upgraded. And again, we've at least, well, he's at least got nine years on Gufran to get better and at least surpass him in terms of um, playing ability at the club. Now, it's not all been doom and gloom for Johan Gufran. He did start off well. I remember when he first came to the club, he's playing more of a secondary striker and then towards the end of his Newcastle career, got pushed out wide. Not a natural wide man, a bit similar to um, Jonas Gutierrez in terms of running ability, just runs and runs and runs. And I can see why he was used, you know, got a great engine, um, can run for days, but at the same time, we want someone who can cross a ball and we haven't really got that, even with Matt Ritchie. Um, yes, he can cross the ball, don't get me wrong, but he can't beat a player. And that's the reason why I think we're going for someone like Jacob Murphy and looking to get someone in like Ojo who can beat a man, whip a ball in and and provide ammunition for the front men as well. So great business all round. The only downside is that we didn't get a fee for him, but at the end of the day, we only got him for about a million pounds anyway. So all in all, we haven't lost too much. Not much else to see, say about that one, really. Just enjoy laughing at the thumbnail of him in a, I don't even know what to call it, man, on a throne or something like that. Anyway, enjoy him, Gostepe. We'll enjoy Jacob Murphy. That has been a Monday evening to remember as a Newcastle United fan. Peace.